Hello everyone, welcome to your morning edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry, I was testing something out. (laughs) So this is going to be a general energy reading for your weekend. Yes, your weekend edition, Friday, February 3rd through Sunday, February 5th. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading that's dated for the weekend of April 3rd through April 5th, it does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment. Yes. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So I am going to have to put a disclaimer out there now. Please, please, please excuse the manicure. Yikes. So um, I'm going through a bit of an upheaval right now. Um, I guess I should tell you guys, I am in the process of moving. I will have, I will be, uh, I'm planning, I'm planning on having moved out of here by the end of April um, as, as, as to where I'm going. That is a bit of a surprise. We will get into that later. But so my room, my life is going to be in various states of disrepair over the next month. Um, and just be aware of that. I'm moving, so I'm gonna do my best to keep with the reading schedule. Um, I'm going to I'm going to limit the amount of uh, personal readings that I take this month. Um, also, I I doubt there are really going to be many personal readings coming in this month, just because of the state of the economy. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna be limiting the amount of personal readings that I take this month. Just uh, my priority right now is to make sure that I can get everything packed up and ready to go. So that's what I'm doing. So yesterday I started that. I started, you know, pulling things out of my closet, pulling things out from under the bed and sorting things and de- throwing things away. So that's why the nails are so bad right now. And I completely like knocked out last night without redoing them. So sorry about it. But anyway, that's my life right now. And boy, is it fun. So I say all that today. I say all that to say, please excuse the manicure. Yes. All right, kids. So let's get into your weekend edition here. Sticking with the tarot. Um, I want to keep it simple this month. And actually, I like um, a number of you have mentioned that you're you're happy that I've gotten back or I've, yeah, I've gotten back to the tarot. I'm happy about it, too. Um, I, I mean, obviously, the tarot is how I started. Um, and I was feeling this pull towards the Oracle part, but um it's cute it's fun i have to find ways to work it in but ultimately tarot needs to be the base and also it's just i was getting bored i was getting bored with just using the tarot again or in the past but which is why i switched up with the the oracle but i played with that for a little while i got i got um i got my feel for it so now i just got to learn how to work it into the system because i really did like doing those readings like that but anyway i'm just i'm 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 really just thinking out loud let's just get into the to the message for the weekend yes how about that that sounds like a great idea here we go (laughs) hi spirit Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of April 3rd through April 5th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're going to give this three shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got. Yeah. One. For the collective two day ski. Well, this weekend, yeah. Two. Three. All right. Let's see what we've got for today, kids. What's going on with the collective? What messages do we have? Nine of Cups. Ooh. The Moon. 
three of wands, nine of pentacles. Okay, well, this is good, you guys. This is a good energy. Um, the nine of cups, the nine of pentacles, the three of wands. So it feels like somebody here is happily content in their own space, in their own skin, with their own self. I feel like this is an energy of someone being very calm, cool, and collected during this um, quarantine. Um, and it just, it, it, could, it could very well be that. And the only reason I say that is because the moon is here and the moon is giving me a feeling of like, I, I just feel like you're moving forward. You're moving towards um, what it is you want. You're happily on your path. You can't really see exactly what's in front of you. You don't really know which direction. Well, that's not true. I do feel like you know which direction that you're going in. However, ultimately the journey is, is shaded. It's clouded. It's, it's kind of like what I'm seeing here is the imagery of like someone being on a ship and the only reason i'm really seeing someone on a ship is because of the three of wands here this is an energy of um waiting for your ships to come in right and this person is standing on the shore in in a way okay but um i'm seeing kind of someone being on a ship on a voyage going on their journey and you know it's nighttime um and it's really cloudy like there's a lot of fog around you can't really see what's going on you can't really see too well too far ahead of you but ultimately i feel like you're moving on very very well i don't feel like you're really all that upset or um i heard guarded okay but i don't feel like you're all that worried about the fact that things aren't as clear as bright as day as maybe you might want them to be it's part of the journey here okay interesting Let's continue. I want to look at the moon a little bit more. Well, actually, let's just finish. Is there, What else do we have here for this, please, Spirit? What else do we have for the collective? There's a sense of wonder, a sense of mystery here. Um, I feel like this is someone who has recently started a new path, started a new journey, recently broke out on your own stepping out on your own yeah look at that ace of wands and there's a lot of excitement there's a lot of happiness there's a lot of joy there's a lot of contentment and even if it's not like you're bursting at the seams with happiness or joy or whatnot it does feel like whatever it is whatever it is you're moving towards whatever it is you're doing now it's not some it, it's mm, i guess you could say you're excited about it i just feel this this calm content energy it's nothing too over the top it's nothing too ex overly excited it's not a too too much of an overly excited energy okay so let's talk about the moon and the ace of wands so this is the this is the path that you're on right now this is the new creative endeavor something that you've started anew with what i'm picking up here is that this is it's again you're not quite clear 100 percent clear on where it is you're going i do feel like you know what it is you're doing but i think the biggest question mark here is how things are going to turn up or how things are going to turn out six of swords with the four of cups in reverse interesting interesting Okay, we're going, we're getting deep here, kids. We're getting deep here. Why is the Six of Swords and the Four of Cups in reverse? This is giving me a feeling of like, okay, well, wow. All right, so we could be still talking about, we could be talking about yesterday, what we were talking about yesterday. Um, because yesterday, this did come out. This Four of Cups actually came out in reverse here. Um, and someone, it was, we were talking about someone was missing an opportunity to move forward. Someone was, was, was take, was not taking some sort of opportunity that was, that's necessary, right? Six of swords is in reverse. I feel like either since we've had, since we did that reading, since we had that, that conversation, someone may have chosen to move forward. Because with the Six of Swords, Four of Cups in reverse, this feels like it's a past energy. If you haven't seen that reading, 
um, I would recommend that you check it out because this might be, this might be, we might be speaking to you here and um, that reading might really help you. Uh, it's in the, the, um, the top right of your screen. There's a little card there. Now we have the 10 of pentacles in reverse. What is this please spirit? Why? Six of wands. Okay. Okay, good. So it seems someone has left the past behind. Now, as a reader, I do see reversed cards as a number of different things. One, it could be a blockage. Two, it could be resistance towards something. Um, oh, it could be, yeah, it could be a number of different things. Four, it, two, oh, I'm sorry, I jumped from two to four. Three could be something that you're working through, something that you're working on. Four, it could be something that is completed from the past, done, and is gone. So I think this is either a number three or a number four for you guys. You're either in the process of moving forward. Again, I would recommend that you watch yesterday's reading if you haven't done so already. Um, you could be working on moving forward that I just heard reconciling in some way. Some of you, some of you might find yourself stuck in this this situation, Six of Swords, Four of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, all in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles is in fact representing a family energy, a family dynamic. That is what, what one of the strongest things that I'm feeling, but it also could represent a lesson learned, um, a course completed, graduated, and ready to move on to the next phase. The Four of Cups is an energy of, I'm hearing unrequited love. Okay, that's just one of the generic meanings for the card. It represents boredom, um, missing out on an opportunity, or refusing to take a certain opportunity. That's in reverse here. The Six of Swords is in reverse as well. This is moving forward, leaving um, the past behind. I just heard moving from rough waters to calmer waters, okay? So someone could be procrastinating here. Yes, that's true. Others of you could have left this behind completely. Others of you are might be in the process of working towards this, but you have the Six of Wands here. Wow, with justice. Okay, so either way, either way, this new journey that someone is on, three of, well, it's not really even new. There's a sense of refreshment here. It may feel new. There's a new phase to it. There's a new level to it. Okay, someone has is or needs to move on and there is a sense of okay i heard complacency maybe you are maybe what's what's help what, what what's struggling or why you're struggling here to move forward to leave this behind is a sense of complacency okay that's gonna get you nowhere sitting around in complacency in your comfort zone is not going to bring you the victory or the justice that you want or need in your life i highly highly recommend that if you haven't watched yesterday's reading please watch yesterday's reading because that energy is coming back up again um, but not necessarily complacency. It's more, um, it's like, it's almost as if you feel more comfortable now than you did before. You feel more comfortable now in a level of uncertainty with the moon here than you did swing around in this unjust or toxic situation. And if you haven't moved forward yet, I, I maybe this will be encouragement for you to get moving. Because ultimately, if you've been, because yesterday this reading started out with judgment, okay? So there was some sort of wake-up call that was happening in which someone needed to, to move forward. Cut loose, right? So if you're in this energy of feeling some sort of wake up call, you know, to get moving, to change something, to get out of, get out of a toxic or narcissistic situation, but you're not exactly sure what's going to happen moving forward. This is kind of, kind of suggesting to you that even though you may not know what's going on around you, maybe you don't exactly know where you're going to land. You don't, I mean, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what you're going to do. You don't know where you're going to go. But ultimately, since you've gotten moving on this path, it seems once you do get moving, it seems that there's going to be a level of happiness, fulfillment, contentment, solidarity, security, and that would be self-security right? With the nine of pentacles, satisfaction with the nine of cups, 
being out of that circumstance seems to be enough for someone to be satisfied, at least at the moment. Enough, satisfied enough to continue moving forward, Three of Wands, okay? I wanna talk about the moon with the Ace of Wands. Let's see where you're going. Oh, and look, we have the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. Um, yeah, with the, with the with Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck, two things. One, you need to rest and meditate on this because somebody, somebody really needs to, still needs to move forward here. 100%. Somebody needs to move forward here, okay? The other thing I'm getting with the Four of Swords is there is a level of needing to humble yourself. Because if you have moved forward here, you could be really walking forward with your held held high, with your, excuse me, your head held high, Six of Wands. But also, this Six of Wands can easily become a, um, a self-righteous energy, um, getting a big head, feeling yourself a little too much and maybe leaving yourself susceptible for some sort of someone to come around and knock you off that high horse, right? So someone need to, so if you are in this energy of feeling good about the move that you've made, excellent. I'm not trying to take that away from you, but try and stay a little humble with that four of swords there, okay? All right. So moving forward here, let's talk about the moon and the ace of wands what do we need to know about the moon with the ace of wands just one more shuffle here okay so spirit let's talk about what's the moon and the ace of wands here the moon with the ace of wands Five of Pentacles, okay. Two of Wands, Seven of Pentacles in Reverse, Three of Cups, The World, and Strength. Okay. Sorry guys, my nose is acting up. We have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right, cool. So this was definitely a decision that somebody made had to make while in some sort of lack mentality type of energy five of pentacles um interesting or and it's an it's it's really funny because i've been seeing a a number of people recently i've been see how seeing how they describe the five of pentacles often people or a lot of people are have been i've been hearing a lot lately that people consider the five of pentacles to be an energy of walking away from something i've always seen it as an energy of lack mentality being out in the cold um but i guess you could be walking yeah i mean it makes sense why someone would be walking away officially for me the eight, the eight of cups is my walking away card what i'm seeing here is that someone had to make a choice I feel like someone had to make a choice um, in terms of almost, I almost, I kind of want to say like cutting your losses, okay? It was a, I mean, it's kind of a lose-lose situation anyway. That's what I heard. However, with you moving forward in this direction, taking this, I heard leap of faith, I just wanted to say, but making this choice and choosing this with the ace, two of wands and the ace of wands here and the moon. Okay, there's an energy of somebody having to choose the lesser of two evils. That's what I'm hearing. Um, and so it could, it could very well be that you really don't know what's going to happen. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Now, it could be that this Seven of Pentacles in reverse is representing the harvest that never came through. And with this five of pentacles, you may have been, you may have had no choice but to walk away from the situation. Mm -hmm. And yet there's a celebration here, three of cups with strength and the world. It's as, it's as if the, that's what they're saying. The universe is congratulating you here 
for having the strength to put this to a rest, to put this to close, an end, to put this to rest. Have the strength to walk away from it. And yet, what you don't know here is that you're building something entirely new. Knight of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Now, normally the Two of Swords is an energy of denial. It could be that. But it also could be an energy of not being able to see in front of you. And needing to maintain a sense of mental balance as you move forward slowly but surely here. Okay? Very interesting. Let's talk. I want to talk about the Three of Cups. I feel like I want to reshuffle. Oddly enough, I want to reshuffle here. Let's talk about the Three of Cups. Congratulating. What are we congratulating or what are we celebrating here? This even could be you. This could be you celebrating with like your friends. This could be representative of soul family. I'm kind of feeling an energy of like finally getting out of that. Like, I mean, obviously I know we can't really do that right now, but what I'm seeing in my head is like you getting together with like a bunch of your girls or a bunch of your, a bunch of the guys and like just, I mean, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm seeing the girls. <laughs> I'm seeing the girls at the bar drinking margaritas or martinis or some shit like that and celebrating. Congrats. And so that could be figurative or it could be, I mean, maybe you're having virtual happy hour. I don't know. But you y'all get what I'm saying, right? So anyway, let's talk about this three of cups. Why are we celebrating here, please, spirit? And like I said, I do feel like to ch damn. I do feel like this is an energy of the universe congratulating you as well. But look at what we have here, you guys, the fucking chariot. I mean, you are celebrating, you are being congratulated here, whether it's on behalf of the universe or your friends and family that are, that are celebrating with you. You're moving on. You got yourself together. You got yourself bounded, uh, bounded, grounded and balanced. You know what it is that you want, or at least you have an idea of what you, a better idea of what you don't want. So that's propelling you away from this situation, right? You, basically what the spirit is saying with this, you got your shit together and you move and you're moving on. Yeah. Look, five of cups, mm -hmm. three of swords. Yes. You've overcome, you've overcome the grief, the sorrow, you've overcome the heartbreak, and you said no more. We're moving on. It's time to get this show on the road. And the universe is like, hell fucking yeah, we're right there with you. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so next, let's talk about, let's go back over here. Let's talk about justice with the six of wands. What can you tell us about this, please, spirit? What can you tell us about this justice with the Six of Wands, please? Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh, goodness, guys. Goodness, goodness gracious. Look, they have the Seven of Swords. We have the Star. That's really interesting. Keep going, please. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. Did y'all sneak away? Three of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. It kind of feels like someone was fed up with the fight and, and the narcissism. And, oh, that makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. If you're dealing with a narcissist or narcissistic people or just a situation that's just running rampant with that icky energy, your escape plan is not something you want to broadcast to the rest of the world because those individuals will do everything they can to either sabotage you, try to stop you, or just make it a living hell for you. I'm speaking from experience here. <laughs> okay. So I know. All right. But it seems like someone here has, has uh, what I'm feeling with this five of swords in reverse, it's like someone literally throwing their hands up and saying, I'm fucking done. I'm out of here. Bye. 
and walking away from the situation, turning over a new leaf. This could be a situation in which you may have been the type of person or the type of energy or the dynamic may have just been this way where you would feed into that energy, that destructive energy, right? But now you're turning over a new leaf. It could very well be that you've really learned a valuable lesson here, which has allowed you to put this, to, to, to come to completion with this, the 10 of pentacles, right? I want to get a little bit more, but ultimately someone is like, that's what I'm feeling. Someone is just throwing their hands up and saying, I'm out of here. Oh, wow. The Empress with the Hierophant. No, with the King of Pentacles. That's interesting. And the Four of Pentacles. You know, there's an energy, there's a sense of feeling like you're grounded, you're stable, you're secure, and you could really go anywhere and do anything. You don't have to stick around and fight this energy any longer. You know what I mean? That's what I'm feeling here. It feels like what I'm, yeah, with the Empress, the King of Pentacles, and then the Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Now, the Four of Pentacles can be a miserly, um, um, hoarding type energy. The Four of Pentacles can represent needing to let go of something. But I'm reading this at this moment, I'm reading it as an energy of being stable and grounded and secure within yourself. I'm literally feeling an energy of with the, between the Empress and the King of Pentacles, being able to pick yourself up and go anywhere in this energy, go anywhere and, and reroute yourself. There's a, there's a sense of security. There's a sense of well, I guess that's confirmation. <laughs> There's a sense of security. There's a sense of groundedness. There's a sense of self-sufficiency. Stability. I mean, look, you have the Four of Swords and the Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck now. That's excellent. So yeah, I would keep your plans to yourself. If you're dealing with a really toxic situation, I would keep and any sort of like moves you're trying to make within reason, of course, you know, obviously if you have to say some things, you have to say some things. Like if you have to give 30 days notice, then you got to give 30 days notice. You know what I mean? Like you can't get around that, but ultimately understand that you are safe, you are grounded and you are protected here, especially now that you have made this decision to move forward, or at least once you do make this decision, to, this decision to move forward. But again, keep your cards close to your chest. You don't have to let everybody know everything. Okay. Only within reason is what I'm hearing. And also you don't want to be, you don't want to come across as too suspicious. Like you're trying to hide something like act natural. You know what I mean? Or at least as natural as you can. And I know some, a lot of people have, a lot of people have trouble lying. Like they, they just, they give it away so easily. I mean, like whatever. Don't look at it as you're lying. Just look at it as you're maintaining your sense of privacy, right? <laughs> okay. Let's get, let's close this out for your weekend with some Oracle guidance. And I want to get Oracle guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck today. One last shuffle for your weekend edition. There we have it. Wow. Card number 15, Archangel Raphael and Malachite. Grace for the grand gesture. My, my, my. Someone's making a gesture. Mm-hmm. Okay. Someone's making some moves, y'all. Mm -hmm. Ah, here we go. Okay. We bring you the gift of grace for the grand gesture. Although there are times when even the smallest act, such as choosing to think a positive thought, is enough to transform your world, there also comes a time for the leap of faith, the grand gesture of unconditional trust that will free you from the past and empower the universe to gift you with a new future. The grand gesture is the big step, the willingness to say to the universe, 
I trust you and I know it is time for life as I have known it to give way for a bigger, <laughs> bolder experience. Who is texting me at quarter to eight in the morning? Good God. Um, <laughs> I trust, it, it, okay. The grand gesture is the big step, the willingness to say to the universe, I trust you and I know it is time for life as I have known it to give way for a bigger, bolder experience and I am willing to allow you to lead me into it. You then make an offering which confirms your declaration and empowers the universe to reward the faith you have demonstrated. The grand gesture cannot be forced. If it comes from a place of, quote, should or uncertainty, then you are not ready. The grand gesture must be unconditional. It must be something you offer, not for what you can get in return, although the rewards will be rich, but because you are willing to offer something of yourself in service to love. When it comes from this place, the grand gesture is a trigger for, a, for divine grace to express itself in your life in an entirely new way, surpassing all expectations and showering you with blessings. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee on Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!